Thank you. Coach, um, when you look at the Clippers, uh, as, as a coach, obviously, how much do you appreciate the tenacity they showed under really tough circumstances? You know, um, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I want to congratulate uh, the Clippers and Doc. And I mean, obviously, their injuries that they had uh, was a setback. But uh, they they really competed hard. And, um, you know, it's I, personally, I'm very disappointed for Chris Paul and Blake that they weren't able to to be a part of it. Obviously, they had championship uh, aspirations, and they weren't playing at full strength. So. I really admire uh, what they were able to do and how they, we knew they were going to play hard. Uh, we knew they were going to compete, and, um, and they did. So I'm, I'm thrilled with the win, but uh, my hat's off to them. Craig Burnback, K2 Sports, Coach. Um, Stand up. I knew you were going to say it. I knew it. <laughs> um, well, now I'll ask a mean question. Um, is this the kind of thing where it doesn't, all that matters, you win and you move on? Kind of not the prettiest of games, but the results hey, all that matters. Uh, 106, 103 is is beautiful. Uh, no, it was. Look, it was it was a grinded out game. Uh, you know, they they had some players who can put put the ball in the basket and play off the dribble. And um, you know, I was honestly, it's we lost so many of these type of games early in the season, and uh, to keep our composure and make the plays, get a rebound, make some free throws, trust your teammates. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be a beautiful 48 minutes. But what what I have a problem with is that when when you don't score, it's considered ugly basketball. When two teams are really competing and playing hard and defending, to me, that's uh, that's that's the thing of beauty as well. So it's not about always scoring points and, and shooting a high percentage. With that said, you guys did Eric Anderson made career Columbian. You guys did shoot very well from three tonight. Oh, well, we did. You know, Mo had a had it going in the third quarter. Was, you know, I, I believe in the percentages of the three point shot. If uh, if a guy's a, a 35% three point shooter, it's gonna it's gonna work its way through. You know, Chief didn't necessarily shoot the ball well early in the season, and he had a couple games for us. Same thing with Mo, it's Damon, CJ. It's it, as long as they're good shots and open shots, and shoot them with confidence. Uh, it's gonna work itself out. And you know, we needed it. We needed to have a. That's part of who we are, and and you got to take them and and believe that you're going to make them. Joe Freeman, Oregonian. Uh, I know you want to celebrate this, but you've got what 48 hours or less to move on to the next round. How would you describe the challenge that you face with the Warriors? You know, with the <laughs> with a 12:30 game, it's going to be uh, pretty simple basketball, pretty simple preparation. Um, you know. As the series goes along, uh, you know, we'll, both teams will make adjustments. But, you know, they've had some time to think about us. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a challenge, obviously. But, um, you know, we'll watch a lot of video uh, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, have a meeting tomorrow and be ready to tip it up on Sunday. Have you been able to do anything? Some of our assistants are, are scouting and video. I mean, we're we're prepared from that standpoint. The coaches really haven't we haven't put it together a game plan or anything like that. But. You know, all the all the legwork's been done, and now it's just a matter of you know coming up with a game plan. Yeah. Terry Danu has been USA Today. You and the Warriors had some remarkable scores both ways this season. What do you remember about your matchups with them? What stands out to you? I'd love to score 130 again. That would be nice. Um, you know, they're. Uh, what stands out is Steph having a having a quarter or. or um, uh, Clay having a quarter, or some, you know, somebody. The first game, uh, Brandon Rush and Ian Clark uh, made the difference with their shooting. Um, so they're they're so balanced, and so many different players can hurt you. Obviously, Clay and Steph are the are the primary ones, but you know, they're that's the challenge, and they can they can put a, a quick spurt on you at any time, and that's what they they kind of do, and they did did against us in their three wins.